Hey everybody, my name is Michael Morris and I have something I'd like to share with you today. Um, I've been picking the five string banjo uh, for 44 years, fell in love with it when I was eight and started picking it when I was nine and um, I just absolutely love it. Um, it's just something about the banjo. I've heard that said so many times, but it's true. But over the course of the years that I've been picking, I have noticed um, banjo pickers and guitar players struggling sometimes with the problem of keeping their instrument at a certain position. And that certain position is the position that we're setting uh, when we're practicing or learning new tunes. Um, and it's this position. It rests on our legs and rests against our back so we can see the fingerboard. And we call this a perfect picking position. Helps you see the notes better and the frets and where you're gonna be, be picking at, what notes you're going to, what rows you're gonna be using, the chords you're going to, your lead-ins, these types of things. And for years, um, I struggled with keeping my banjo in that position. And so seven years ago, I started doing some research. May have been a little longer than that. On how I could keep the banjo in this, in this same position. Um, I tried a few different uh, approaches to holding it stationary. Um, and I came up with the solution. And I think you're gonna like it. Um, several people that I that I play music with have tried this um, and it works perfect for them I have a, a US patent pending on this and I'm gonna show you a little bit of the things that I'm doing uh, as we go along here and how it benefits you but I call it the music wedge you see the banjos in this position and here's the problem that's created when you stand up it's not in that position no more. And I'm gonna hold that so that you can see it. And then I'm gonna show you how the music wedge will benefit you, not only as a beginner or an intermediate picker or a professional picker. And, and I throw that in because I have watched YouTube videos of Earl. I've watched Sammy Schuler, I've watched uh, all kinds of banjo pickers on stage reposition their banjo so that they can see what they're playing or uh, setting up for the next part of what they're going to be picking. So here it is. Here is the position sitting. This is where we're all sitting and practicing and jamming and everybody sitting around having a good time and that thing's in the perfect position. The problem comes when we stand up. And when we stand up, the banjo falls away from us. So now all you get to see is the edge where these little dots are the back of the neck and one part of the banjo. And it's great because when we're picking those tunes that we know, it's fine. But the ones that we've just learned and we're having problems with or if you're a beginner banjo picker and you can't get it positioned just right and you're constantly moving the banjo and trying to get that, that same position we had earlier when we was sitting down picking, well, here's the solution, the music wedge. I came up with this uh, idea um, about two years ago, and believe it or not, it's, it's kind of intricate. It don't look like much as far as for what you're seeing, but it's kind of intricate on the pitch, what material I used uh, so that it would here to the back of the banjo without scratching and, and leaving a, a mark on it or anything, but also rest up against your body easily. Uh, what this does um, that I have found out uh, after studying this and building it and perfecting it and getting this final product done 
is this. When it's up against your body, it holds the banjo away, which resonates the banjo more. It also protects you from getting belt buckle scratches if you wear a belt buckle or even buttons. So see, I've got my banjo up against my buttons now, but what happens is this. You see how the banjo's hanging? We take this and we're gonna slide this right behind our banjo and automatically it goes into that perfect picking position to where we're practicing or jamming and we're sitting down, but you have that same thing happening while you're standing up. So when you're doing tunes, position stays. I do, I do not have my hands on my banjo. Um, it's firm to the back of the instrument to where it's not slipping around, but here's another cool thing about it. If you need to move it to the side, it moves with your body. So moving your banjo without touching it, you can see it moves right along with the body because of the material that I used here is felt. It kind of slides on your body back here, but it still adheres to the banjo. So it's staying in that position. I'll show you again. Without, it falls forward. With, it's gonna be right there no matter what you're playing, what, how, how long you wanna play. It's supporting the weight of the banjo off your shoulders from the heaviness. This product has so many benefits for the for the musician, um, it'd probably be hard for me to count them all. Guitar players. I have people using it playing mandolins, banjos. It was designed specifically for a banjo, but there, I mean, there's multiple uses for it. Uh, electric bass players, uh, if you're wanting to go that route, electric guitar players. It puts it in a position to where it stays stationary all the time, no hands. I can walk around and it'll be, it'll be in this position until I change it uh, for the whole show. And I have actually played it on stage myself many, many times since I invented it. Um, but I, I felt like that, that uh, you guys needed to see this. I've had several people that, that have seen it said that they have struggled with this same problem for years and I have got rave reviews on it. I would love for you to try it. Um, and if you're interested in trying it, you can call me. Um, on, on my cell phone um, and I'm setting I'm in the middle of setting up a website right now um, we're gonna get with uh, uh, being able to order it through credit card um, just keep your eyes open for this video um, and I'll have that information set up for you at that time if you're interested in having one um, I, I believe this is going to change the way you play music uh, beginner, intermediate, or even professional. Uh, like I said, I've used it on stage and I love it and the people that are using it uh, that have, have already purchased one from me that are using it, love them too. So uh, we thank you very much. Um, hope to hear from you. Hope you continue to pick and enjoy your bluegrass music because I do. And uh, thank you. <laughs>